this is Edward Van Gogh. Here, see. Um, this is called What Can I Do With This? And if you saw the recent entry, by the way, this is episode one. So if you haven't seen the entry, turn this video off right now and watch the entry because it's cool. Um, we're going to be performing tricks with this old plastic spoon, and we're going to try and to encourage you to try and do these things after you watch it. Now, there are some dangerous stunts that maybe you should just watch and laugh at. There are no dangerous stunts. Um, first I'm going <laughs> to put this spoon on my nose. Hang on, I need to put the hair. Okay, let's see how long that can balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we're gonna stop there because he could go on forever. Spoon. Now, the it's trick behind this now is that you just lick the spoon and stick it on your nose. So, try it and tell us what you think, how long you could do it. If you think you could beat me, we'll do a video of that later. Now, our next trick is food. They're also great catapults. Come on upstairs, I got a surprise for you. Bouncy ball. We are going to cling with this spoon. Hopefully, it does I not go over the rope. Wow, look at that distance. Let's try it again. Okay, Griffin, I want to try. Alright. Let's let our friend Bob Patrick, or I mean, Bob Patrick, give it a try. Okay, both Griffin and Edward Van Gogh are the craziest names that we could think of. And Brian's lost the bouncy ball. So. I think with bouncy ball. I'm going to try to make it into the basketball goal. Hang on. Don't. Not. Yet. Now that was pretty close. Would you like to try again? Yeah, I would. Can I finish you don't mind? No. Don't mind at all. Well, maybe playing basketball with a bouncy ball isn't the best idea, Ryan. Let's see what else this wonderful spoon of ours can do. Here you go, Ryan. Thanks. Next, we're going to smash it under a pumpkin. Okay, now it's November, so we still have the pumpkins out. And we're going to put this spoon down and see if it'll be smashed by this pumpkin. Wait a second. This stick should be out of the way. No, it shouldn't. Let's put that down. Let's, let's see what the stick does. Alright, let's put it like that. Now I want you to lift it up and drop it. Try it again. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Now, with the two halves of the spoon we have constructed, we are going to do a demonstration. If you ever break a spoon, don't throw it away. There's more you can do with the parts. There is. Now, by the way, the trick to this, it worked on the first time, but not so much on the second. You put a regular stick under, under the spoon if you want to break it, you put the stick beside the spoon if you don't. The reason why we do that with the pumpkin is so, I'd say this weighs about six to seven pounds, is so that it doesn't 
When you drop it on the stick away from the spoon, it counterbalances the weight so that it won't smash it. But once you, but if you put it on the spoon, instead of it counterbalancing, it smashes. So we did that on purpose, of course. So that's your the friends trick. And your family. Now, while we're over here in the dirt, this can also be a lovely shovel, just to dig a little hole, plant a flower in. This is the end where you find a worm. This is Beck also, you guys may want to Or find a worm. Now, this part right there, this part right here, well, you know, I'm sure you can find something to do with this part. Ooh. We encourage you to find something new to do with this part. Something that is good, I found out, that you can do with this part, is it's a great pumpkin carving tool. It can draw designs, it can scratch designs on it, as well as usually puncture the skin. Now we're using a plastic spoon, because a metal... try this with a metal spoon. It does not work. Now, send us a video back telling us what you can do with the bottom half of a spoon. And we if... We want to see what your imagination... How far your imagination can just do. Now, if you can do this... Can you drive your imagination wild? Whoa! Now, we want to encourage you to do things and stuff, but if you are... If you post your things on YouTube, like we are, if you are chosen for the bottom half of the spoon contest, you will be shown in our next ep you will be your trick will be shown in our next episode. Now, we are using fake names, Ryan and Edward Van Gogh, Griffin and stuff. Those are all fake names. Bob Patrick, Bad. Beck is a fake name. They're all fake names. But we encourage you when you if you are if you do post your stuff on YouTube, please use a fake name to protect all identity. Okay, we hope that you enjoyed watching this half segment. Or, um, don't mention your name at all. Yeah, that, that can work. <laughs> okay. Now, Griffin, let's see what we can do with this and the spoon. This and the spoon? Maybe we should just save this for the next episode. Alright, we hope that you enjoyed the first episode of What Can I Do With That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So come back later and watch us. We loved having you guys. Bye.